Hello everyone. In this video, we will understand the diameter restriction which is applicable for the ductile beams depending upon the column dimension. So as per the clauses of different codes like the IS 13920-2016 or ACI 318M 2014 or let it be 2019 also NSCP 101-2015. All the codes states that the column dimension should not be greater than 20 times the maximum longitudinal diameter in the beam. So the longitudinal beam reinforcement that extends through a column beam joint in such case the parallel dimension of the column should not be greater than or equal to 20 times diameter of bar. But RCDC works on the assuming that when the column is modeled in the analysis phase itself, the user it is presumed that the user is already aware of various requirements of ductility. And hence what RCDC does it is RCDC takes the column dimension divided by 20 as the maximum diameter of the bar for the longitudinal reinforcement. So let us see in actual how RCDC is handling this clause. So taking into consideration a few beams like the beam B1, B2, B3, B4. So for B1 the column on the left is a square column of 700 by 700 and on the right hand side we have a circular column which is of 800 mm diameter. So for B1, let us see what is the maximum diameter on the left hand side as well as on the right hand side. See, so for B1, on the left hand side, when we check over here, the maximum dimension, diameter is 25 mm. So when we check the maximum allowable diameter, let us divide by 20, which comes out to be 35. But over here, RCDC has shown as 25 mm as the max dimension. Now let us understand why it is showing 25 mm as max dimension for bottom. Whereas for top it is already showing 32. So the actual reason is that on the right hand side where the circular column is the support. What RCDC does for a circular column is so for a circular column of 800 mm diameter, RCDC will draw an inscribed square by proper formulations. So for a 800 mm column, the inscribed square turns out to be 565.6 mm. And hence when we divide this dimension by 20, the max diameter turns out to be 28 mm. But when we go out and check the list of diameters selected in RCDC, we see that between 25 and 32, the 28 mm diameter is not selected. So below, it cannot go up to 32 mm because maximum allowable is 28 mm. So it will come down to 25 mm as max diameter for bottom. But for top, it has still allowed up to 32 mm for left end, which is for the left zone. And for the right zone, so the left zone is max for 32 mm and for right zone the max is 25 mm. So why it is different for bottom and top is for bottom what RCDC does is it tries to provide the same reinforcement in the bottom most layer of the bar. So on the left zone we have maximum diameter as 700 by 20 as per the square column dimension and on the right hand side we have maximum di diameter as 25 mm. So it will take minimum of 32 mm and 25 mm. So the bottom diameter is restricted as 25 mm for left and right zone. But for top zone as per the square column the maximum dimension is 32 mm because 700 by 20 gave us 35 mm and 35 mm is not available in the list. So below 35 mm was the 32 mm. So it is capped to 32 mm as max diameter for the left zone and for right zone it is 25 mm. So let us go to the output window and check once again. So bottom left is 25 mm and bottom right is also 25 mm and 
for top left the maximum is 32 mm and for top right it is 25 mm so in this way the maximum diameter is restricted in rcdc separately for top and bottom now let us go to beam b2 so for b2 we have left hand side as 25 mm maximum diameter and right hand side we have a rectangular column so in such a case now the reinforcement would be parallel to the longer edge of the rectangle so the dimension of the rectangular column which is 800 mm so when we go to checking 800 by 20 gives us 40 mm as maximum diameter and here it would be 25 mm so for bottom again it would be 25 mm and for right as well it would be 25 mm and for top it is again 25 mm as the left support is a circular column and for right it is 32 mm similarly now we go when we go ahead for b3 on left and right for b3 on left we have the maximum diameter as bottom as 25 and for top if we check it is 32 and for right it is 25 so let us see why it is 25 and 32 on left and right so on the left hand side the maximum column size parallel to the beam is or parallel to the longitudinal reinforcement is 800 mm so 800 mm by 20 comes out to be 40 and the diameter will come down to 32 mm and for the right hand side what rcdc does for any polygon let it be a pentagon hexagon or any polygon rcdc will plot an inscribed circle and for that inscribed circle an inscribed square will be determined the side of the square will be determined and the side dimension will be divided by 20 m to determine the maximum diameter now in this case wherein the hexagon has each side of 500 mm the diameter of inscribed circle is 866.5 mm and for this 866.5 the square turns out to be 612 mm and when we divide this 612 by 20 the maximum diameter comes out to be 30 mm but as per our list we the 30 mm diameter will come up to 25 mm diameter only as it cannot go to the next diameter which is 32 hence the maximum diameter restricted is 25 mm okay again for this particular beam the longitudinal diameter of the beam will have a parallel dimension as 600 mm so the maximum diameter allowed will be would be 600 by 20 which is 30 mm now this 30 mm diameter will come down to 25 mm diameter depending upon the list of the diameters so in this way rcdc is restricting the maximum diameter in the beam Spe only the ductile beams which are the part of this seismic force resisting system depending upon the dimension of the column which is parallel to the longitudinal reinforcement let us quickly understand what happens in aci 318m 2019 which is the latest release so as per the latest release code says that the dimension of the column has to be 20 times db when the grade of the reinforcement is 420 or less than 420 but as soon as the grade is greater than 420 the, dim the dimension of the column should be 26 times the diameter of the bar of the beam so so corresponding to these two clauses rcdc will treat dimension of column divided by 20 for steel grades less than equals to 420 and column dimension divided by 26 for steel grade which is greater than 420 let us see in actual how this is happening for the same example for which we have seen the implementation of this clause earlier so this is the same file and we will consider beams b1 b2 b3 and b4 so bottom maximum is 25 and bottom right maximum is also 25 whereas top left maximum is 32 and top right maximum is again 25 okay so this happens as per 20 times the diameter of the bar as the grade is 415
okay so as soon as we change the grade let us change it quickly through redesign when we change it to 500 and we redesign the entire beam and accept the design now what has happened let us see so on the left hand earlier which was 25 mm the maximum diameter has come down to 19 mm why because first of all as uh, as this is a ductile beam and the grade has exceeded 420 what rcdc has done is this dimension which is 565 was getting divided by 20 now gets divided by 26 so when we divide this 565.85 by 26 the maximum diameter is 21 but as per our list the diameter will come down to 19 mm so when we check the list of diameter we have 19 and then we directly have 25 whereas our allowable diameter maximum is 21 so the maximum allowable diameter in bottom has come down to 19 which was earlier 25 and for top wherein the earlier one was 32 has come down to 25 because the dimension is divided by 26 so as per aci 318m 2019 which is dependent on the grade of the steel the dimension of the column is either divided by 20 for steel grades less than equal to 420 and it is divided by 26 for steel grade which is which is greater than 420 so in this way for ACI 318M19, an additional clause has been implemented, whereas for other clauses, it will work same as it is explained. Thank you.